One of the most common radiological emergencies that we encounter is that of acute scrotal pain. And the chief uh, reason of doing an ultrasound along with a Doppler is to distinguish torsion from acute epididymoocitis. And Doppler is very simple, very easy to do. You do it alongside the ultrasound and uh, you get a 100% diagnosis in knowing whether the condition is that of torsion or epididymoocitis. It's important for us to know this because the treatment for both is absolutely different. A torsion, the patient is taken up immediately. Uh, we try to save the testes, whereas in acute epididymoocitis, the patient is put on antibiotics and anti-inflammatory medication. So once we encounter a patient, the, a quick, nice way to start the scan is to do the normal side first. So we have here a patient with right-sided scrotal pain, and what we are doing now is actually seeing the left testes. Once we see the left testes, we actually put the color box on and note nice vascularity, both arterial and venous. We grab the spectrum also of the artery running through the testes to know that there's absolutely normal intratesticular flow. We then turn our attention to the affected side. And uh, it's not a bad idea to actually take a transverse section across uh, both testes at one time. So you can actually compare the eco-texture. And as you can see on the screen right here on the video, you can see that the testes on the left side is nice and bright and smooth as it should be. Whereas the testes on the right, the affected size, is actually enlarged as well as the eco has reduced. We then switch the color box on. And what we find here is uh, that there is no flow absolutely within the testes. The axis two of the testes has changed and uh, there's a small secondary hydrocele alongside. So we look carefully, we go back to normal and back to the abnormal side, and we can easily confirm that this is a case of testicular torsion. Besides this finding, you get a host of other findings as seen on this uh, PowerPoint slide.